So you have your domain inside Hostinga uh, and you wanted to link this directly into your Shopify. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is to have two tabs open. In this case, I have Hostinga. Uh, into the second one, I have Shopify. So as you can see, the very first thing I wanted to do is to make the removal of this one so I can do this once again for you guys. I'm going to sign into my Shopify. I'm going to go into my dashboard. And once I am here, what I want to do is to go directly into settings. Inside settings, let's focus into this left part. Inside this left part, let's go and scroll a little bit down until we find domains. Now inside domains, you can see that I have two domains created. So maybe if this is the very first time for you, Currently, you might be having something like this. So let's try to change this for my actual domain, which is actually this one. So I'm gonna just leave this like that inside Shopify. Let's go back into hosting and sign in. After you are in here, what you want to do is to focus into your domains. As you can see, here's my domain. So let's go here inside domain and I go into manage. Now inside the manage section, we have a domain impending verification, right? So we need to just received an email and to confirm that so after you make the verification of your email status you might be having this one as active and set it up yet so let's go and focus into the left part that says dns name servers now i'm going to hit into reset dns records just in case that you see that there's a lot of elements that you have done or added into some kind of websites so here's my dns records uh, records set it up so let's get started with the very first process. Really easy. Let's focus back again here into Shopify. I'm going to go back inside domains. Now let's go here and choose connect existing domain. Now inside the connection of the domain, let's go back into hosting. I'm going to copy the name of my desired domain that I already have. So now what I want to do is to choose the option that says verify connection. Now, you might be seeing that there's something called domain connection incompleted. You don't have to worry about it because we haven't added this correct info. So to do this, what I wanted to do is to go back inside the DNS section. And here, what I want to do is to add two different records. The very first one in here, it says it's called a record. So let's go here, choose a. Now inside name should be at. I'm going to go here. So you can see here's my name at. Now point two. Let's go back and here's the actual value. I'm going to hit into copy and I'm going to paste it points to and hit add record. So let's go here into continue. Now, lastly, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the second one. This one's called C name. So let's go here and to a change this for C name. The name here should be now triple W and the target is this value. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste that in here. Now, if you choose add record, you might be seeing that the DNS resource is not valid or conflicts with another resource. So you want to make sure that you don't have any type here added. So if you see that this content name is triple W, you can do two things. You can hit into edit and change the contact target for this one, or just hit into delete and try this add record once again. And there we go. So there are two DNS records added. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit into verify connection. And just like that, my actual target type has now been set up correctly. So how do I make sure that this actually work? Let's go into view. And as you can see into the upper side, here is my store, not designed it yet, but into the upper side, I do have this URL that we have customly added correctly. So if I go back, I'm going to choose the name of the one that was generated for me. And if I copy this URL and I paste it into a new one, automatically it's going to be redirecting me into the URL that we have just purchased directly into Hosting. And that's how we can connect your Hosting domain directly into Shopify. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you want to see more videos about Shopify, don't forget to like and subscribe. And well, I'm going to be seeing you guys hopefully next time.